those who chant from the river to the sea are either useful idiots. And let me be clear, there will be no meaningful peace with Hamas and its genocidal intent in charge of Gaza. And that is why one of our conditions for a sustainable ceasefire, alongside the release of hostages, is that Hamas cannot remain in charge of Gaza. This is essential. <laughs> this is essential for the restoration of Israel's security and the future of the people of Gaza. It is what will allow the reconstruction of Gaza, a better life for its citizens, and a return to the long road to peace and the two-state solution. And I want to be clear on that issue. It is the position of this government that efforts to achieve a two-state solution are more important than ever. I and the government are acutely aware that security is the precondition for us to reach that new political horizon, and we will play our part. We know that Hamas are just part of a broader group of malign actors who seek to destabilize the Middle East. Iran is at the heart of this nexus. We know that it supplies weapons and support to Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Houthis. In recent days, we have seen Iran expand its program of destabilization. It has attacked two of its neighbors. A country that attacks its neighbors is a country that should never be allowed to develop nuclear weapons. <laughs> Iran does not want a new Middle East one infused with the spirit of the Abraham Accords, where Israel and its neighbors, including the Palestinians, live in peace in an increasingly prosperous neighborhood. Since October the 7th, we have seen something else that echoes further afield, an appalling rise in anti-Semitism, a painful reminder, if one were needed, that anti-Zionism all too often morphs into anti-Semitism. It is sadly the case that when Israel responds to terrorism, to some people, it automatically becomes the aggressor. Those people who rip down posters of hostages reveal themselves to have no humanity. Those who chant from the river to the sea are either useful idiots who do not understand what they are saying, or worse, people who wish to wipe the Jewish state from the map. We will have zero tolerance for those who promote or glorify terrorism or peddle anti-Semitism on our streets. <laughs> that is why we have banned his but Tahrir. And let me be clear, Jews in Britain should never have to hide their identity. That is completely and utterly unacceptable. Stay with the Times of India for news breaks, analysis, interviews and events. We bring you stories from your neighbourhood and from across the globe as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos.